Okay, just a little mini lecture on a special random variable called the Poisson discrete random variable. I know that Poisson is French for fish, and I guess the guy who discovered it was named Poisson. Imagine living a life like that. So this is very important in situations where you've got uh, events that are occurring along a timeline. Okay, so the motivation is... I have um, events that occur randomly at continuous times, right? So I've got my timeline, and very occasionally, some things happen, right? So this could be something like customers that are arriving to a store or packets that are arriving to my router, or cars that are passing a given mile marker on the road, or phone call attempts that are happening in a given cell phone tower, or photons that are hitting a photo detector. Right? There are lots of real world situations that are exactly this kind of thing, where you've got you know, my continuous timeline, I just draw a bar every time I see something happening. Okay? And then I want to ask, you know, what is the probability that I saw five customers arriving at my shop in a given 15 minute interval, right? We can use the Poisson random variable to answer this question. And so the PMF for a Poisson random variable is the following. So here K is the number of things that could happen in an interval. So again, K is going to have the range zero things, one things, infinite things. And it's parameterized by this number alpha. Okay, and here alpha is the average number of events in some given interval. Okay, and so this is something where I, as a user, parameterize this by observing or setting a value of alpha. Okay, so let's suppose that I want to do some examples here. So let's suppose that x is... Um, the number of packets arriving at my router in a 10 millisecond window, okay? And alpha is the number of packets expected in this window, okay? Well, then I can say, okay, um, let's suppose I, I give alpha a number for example. Um, I could ask, what's the probability that I got uh, more than three packets in 10 milliseconds? Okay, well, again, I could have, you know, 50 packets or 100 packets. The easiest way to look at this is, um, you know, I have probability of 1, 2, 3, and 0 and I subtract that from one, right? This again is a similar trick to taking an infinite number of possibilities and reducing it to one minus a finite number of possibilities. And now I would use the PMF to compute these probabilities. Let me put this back on the screen and I'll write it for the specific alpha that we have. My PMF is two to the K over K factorial E to the minus two, okay? And so one minus P0 minus P1 minus P2 minus P3 is 1 minus the PMF at 0 is 2 to the 0 power over 0 factorial e to the minus 2. Then I have 2 to the 1 power over 1 factorial e to the minus 2, 2 to the 2 power e to the minus 2, and 2 to the 3 power. So I can see there's a common e to the minus 2 here. And then 2 to the 0 over 0 is 1. 2 to the 1 over 1 is 2. 2 to the 2 over 2 factorial is also 2. 2 to the 3 over 3 factorial is 8 over 6, right? And so I could add up these numbers, and I would get some numerical value. But this would be the, easy, the easiest way to, to write it without extra stuff, OK? Now, just a, a word of warning that you often are going to see Poisson problems that are a little bit twisty, where you'd say, for example, what's the probability that I see exactly 
five packets in 50 milliseconds. Okay, now remember that the alpha that I specified was for 10 milliseconds, right? So basically what I said before was if I expect um, two packets in 10 milliseconds, that means that I should expect 10 packets in 50 milliseconds. So my new alpha for this problem becomes 10. And so my answer would be um, 10 to the fifth over 5 factorial times e to the minus 10. Right? So again, standard probability trick question is to make sure you're using the Poisson random variable with the right alpha, which is the expected number of packets for the interval that the question is asking you about. Okay? All right. Sounds good. So um, see you next time.